Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. We have a special video today because I want to bring you my 5 year progress in Clash of Clans. I've actually played the game for over 7 years, let me know how long you have played, but I've been making YouTube content for over 5 years, so I have hand selected a video from each month, from July 2015 right of the way up to the current date, and I have taken a 15 to 20 second clip from each of those videos and that is what you are going to see right now there are some absolute gems in there a lot of old footage clash looked a lot different back then i have tried to include a lot of the updates so you will get to see a bit of clash of clans history and a bit of judo sloth history bear with me i was new to youtube back then it really does just show though if you stick with something and put your mind to it how much you can improve but let's get into my five year history in clash of clans a good base i think for not deliberately giving away the two star it's easy enough so that people can push and get their one star i have had a, the odd defense win from it from people that have just blasted their troops in okay so step one is your jump spells to provide access to the base you'll also be using the fourth jump spell a little later to get into the core step two is deploying your golems you want to spread them out to set off traps Step 3 is following behind your golems with a large line of wizards. So 4,433, our personal best. I'm quite excited to see where we are. Now let's see whether we've hit the target of top 100 in the UK. I think it might be close. 99, look at that. This was a very enjoyable water watch. It featured the Clash development team in Clash Team versing Mild Aggression. And as you can imagine, there were a few troll attacks. Hey, if you were the developer of a game, you would do exactly the same. I'm going to share with you my idea for clan war tournaments. This idea doesn't cover small 5v5 wars and short 1-2 hour wars, although I would love to see them implemented into the game. I feel like the live streams that we have been seeing would really step up Clan Wars to another level where you could just jump on for an hour with your friends and really coordinate in order to win the war. And if I just implement on the screen now, this is a rough guide of what that results page would look like. And you can donate to the charity simply through buying gems. You'll also get a little bonus to decorate your town hall just to show that you've contributed to the cause. And obviously you will also get this lovely red flag to show that you have donated. This is the Nine Golem attack. Went with all Earthquake spells to carve a path entirely through this base, obviously opening as many different walls along that path as I could. He knew he had to take down the Lava Hound and protect his king with maximum efficiency, thus giving heroic use to the Poison spell. But this true tale doesn't finish there, as this attacker thought he had the perfect use for the new dark spells. But he didn't, and on this occasion, should have took an earthquake spell. Let's go out and try and get some epic all bowler attacks. Let's push some rage spells in to try and get them in a bit better, and look at the damage going on that gold storage that they're getting from that second bounce, absolutely brilliant. You will see that the position of the air defense means its radius isn't covering the outside, so I'm quite confident I can get a queen walk right down that southeast side. Now the reason we're going to walk down towards the south is so that we can engage the clan castle at the edge of the base. Let's try out the new OP minor troop in Clash of Clans. Oh, oh. With the new Clash of Clans update, as you saw from the start of the video, we're just going to be messing around, having a little bit of fun with one of the new troops, the Miner. We are jamming our barracks, so we will have the Baby Dragon unlocked, ready for a future video. The most common mistake I see in this strategy is taking out the two air defense, and then only coming in from one quarter of the base. I like to deploy my Clan Castle Dragon and Balloons through the middle. This provides extra damage to the center of the base where you want it. Today we're bringing back the quick tip series, starting off with how to lure and kill the clan castle effectively whilst you're performing your queen walk. Now the queen walk is very popular at the moment just because it's so great for setting up your attacks. It takes just over 10 seconds in order to take out all of the defending miners, but let's directly compare that to two poison spells. 
it took 3 seconds less with 2 poison spells, so it did not deal double damage, but it did achieve the higher scaling damage much faster. And today we're going to highlight some of the amazing content that the Clash of Clans community has to offer. Ash is just an all around nice guy and his strategy videos will definitely help you to improve your gameplay. Powerbang focuses on high level strategy and war content. If you're hoping to improve your attack strategies in Clash of Clans, then Powerbang is the guy to turn to. Now I cannot speak highly enough of Joe's channel, it is just jam packed full of strategy advice and great all around content. Although Galadon doesn't need any introduction, I did want to feature his channel because he still does bring regular Clash of Clans content. You can also make note that I haven't activated the Eagle Artillery yet, which means I can take my time, get this funnel completely created, and then I am going to wait until the Queen takes out the Expo and quickly bring in the rest of my troops to try and keep her alive into the center of the base to the Town Hall, and then I have two Rage Spells in order to push them right the way through it. Alongside damage, Poison Spells have an effect on movement and attack speed. You can see that without a poison spell, the giant makes it alongside the queen's altar. However, with a poison spell in place, the giant can make it much further due to her decreased attack speed. And wait until you see how the mechanics of this troop works as well. It's pretty interesting, guys. So what we're going to do is jump into a couple of goblin maps just to show you how the mechanics of the troop work. We do, however, have a couple of ice wizards coming in from the opposite side as well. So hopefully they can help to take down the defenses. The Teslas do do a lot of damage to the ice wizards, though. So it's very good to have that big group to take them down. Here comes the giant bomb. Oh, and it's took out about half of our ice wizards and the spring traps go and throw a bunch of them off as well. But I will take that. We have a couple left. The last cannon has fallen. So I have used the dragons to funnel right around this south side and then using the rage spell again to get my dragons to that air defense. They are attacking straight into an air sweeper. And I've also brought the balloons in very quickly over on the west because you really want that third air defense down as soon as possible. But there's the jump spell for the Valkyries to get into the core. In they come and they're going to target the clan castle first in towards the town hall. That's going to go down easily and they even get the eagle artillery. Our CWL matchup week four against Cold September creating access for so many different compartments. So the inferno tower is just about to go down. One air defense is already down. The king has rushed the compartment on the northwest hand side and that's very helpful in terms of balloon packing. Max Builder Hall 5 you have four army camps. Now the beautiful thing is you don't have to have a set army. You actually can customize your army to the base so you can see the little green arrow there that lets you change whatever true we have a special guest with us. It is none other than the infamous Klaus Gaming. What's going on my friend? Infamous? What are you talking about, man? No, I am great. Thank you so much for having me on the channel. I cannot wait. Welcome to this epic challenge where we are going to face off the baby dragons and the sneaky archers. Bring them together head to head to see which one is best here at the brand new Builder Hall 5 that we have upgraded in our Let's Play series. It took 25 of the Battle Ram troops to take out the Barbarians. Can they do any better against the Archers? Now where I think they're going to struggle is once they get onto the splash damage troops. I mean, think about the Wizard or the Valkyrie. here and welcome to today's video where we have a very special guest with me. He is a Clash of Clans legend. He is a Town Hall 8 legend. It's none other than Clash bashing. What is going on, my friend? Hey, what's up, Judo? Let's attack every defense in the game with the brand new giant skeleton to see which ones it can and cannot take out. Here it is though, Will the Giant Skeleton takes out the Archer Queen in one shot. Can we attack the Town Hall with a Goblin from the opposite side of the map? Let's check it out and explain to you in this video exactly what the changes to the AI system were and why Supercell have decided to change them back. Check out this little Goblin as he runs past every single building 
on the map in order to attack the town hall. It looks crazy, right? You can take part in these events with your clan. Now, basically, there are a number of different challenges that you can take part in. You can start this, any of your clan members can, and there's different challenges ranging from the multiplayer to the builder's base. It's 33%. We kind of need the archers to come in now, get that town hall, and once we can have enough troops there, there is the first star, guys. So let's try and make sure we can get the two Who knows, stars. guys? Where did the builder go? There's plenty of stories they've had this previous year. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But let's get to the good stuff. The limited edition obstacles. Here we are. The first one here is the fortune tree obstacle. So let's go ahead and test out the crusher. The P.E.K.K.A. though does do that massive amount of damage. It's very much going to be helpful to get these defenses down very quickly. And as you can see, even against the crusher, really doesn't take too much damage. You will now have the ability in game to call a base and to add notes for your clan members to see. So as we move down the board here on the developer build, you can see envelopes next to some bases, that is the notes if there is any added, and flag posts next to others, that is the call system as well. Town Hall 12 has now 100% been officially confirmed and you can upgrade it. That is because the brand new defense at Town Hall 12 will be the Town Hall itself. But it is a big housing space of 30. So you can donate it into clan castles, but it does take up a huge chunk. You'll need to make sure you get value from it. Now, it will take a little bit of time for us to thoroughly get to know how to use this troop, but a couple of nice examples I've found is to, most importantly, funnel an area of the base, but you can often snipe off buildings as well. The maxed level queen versus the maxed out Giga Tesla. Remember, as we put the queen in, it will not activate until she fires at it. What will be the outcome of this battle? It is looking close. They're both around about 50%. Looks like the queen is in the lead, though. She is indeed just about going to take out that Giga Tesla. See what everything's doing here. Not too bad. I think we're going to start the lava loon from down the bottom here. Get the lava hound in. Oh, my word. This is extremely difficult, guys. But we're going to keep going. You guys can get your attacks featured and battle to be number one. And today it is Matt Dog of Peter seventeen dollars. Awesome! He is getting the number one spot. One million fifty thousand gold and pretty much a million elixir as well. What a loot raid! Because of that spin effect, they will be getting pulled into the range of some defenses, and when the duration is finished, your troops will have to retarget afterwards, so you might be able to mess with the enemy pathing. But it was about three months ago that we hit 100,000 subscribers, but we have now received the silver play button. Look at how amazing that is, and I want to thank each and every one of the viewers and we can push the El Primo troops in here because they only target defenses we know we can push a little group of them in alongside the war wrecker meanwhile the king continues to do his work here so this isn't going too bad already hopefully we can get down that town now hall. the idea is that you will have witches moving around either side of the base and you have your heavier kill squad coming through the middle that is your heroes your bowlers and just a couple of witches to help out a lot of you will be saying well we don't have bowlers in the cc valkyries work very nicely as well so essentially it was all to do with the eagle and you can see that the queen is actually shooting at the eagle here now previously there is a wall in front of the queen and three times behind it before the eagle the queen would have previously not been able to reach the eagle but with the change she now can brand new season challenges we are going to explain everything you need to know from the challenges themselves the rewards that you will gain and the perks that will help you so much you do not want to miss any of these 
And let's go ahead, get some more goblins in. Get the Grand Warden's ability on the goblins now. Go on, goblins. Get that down. Get that down. Look at them goblins go. They're invincible. <laughs> they did it, guys. The channel is called Judo Sloth Gaming. I'm referred as Judo Sloth. That came from my gamer tag, Judo Sloth 89. That was always my Xbox gamer tag. Now, I haven't changed the name at all. From when I started this account, you only get one free name change. Here we are, guys. We're ending the era. Goodbye to Judo Sloth 89. And let's welcome Judo Sloth. Very original. And when that breaks down into money, that is $302. Obviously, minus your five for purchasing the gold pass, that is still a saving of $297. Here's the attack by Yuda getting it done on his birthday. They brought the power themselves. You just seen this attack with these four corner style bases and what you want to think about is how to break up each corner of so the base. So let's go ahead and show you the theme tune. Here it is. The party wizard himself. Then we can use the wizards in the center followed by a bunch of other party wizards to try and force the king into the, the middle. The beauty of it is that it's 15 healers. I was talking to Carbon when we were here. He's actually been playing around with it as well. And he swapped out a couple of healers for hog riders to snipe off defenses. Very good idea, but let me know your suggestions. But I wanted to show you the most OP use of the Royal Ghost. It can snipe off an enemy archer queen. Check this out. Maxed out level 65 queen will go down to the royal ghost because of the 12 second invincibility. But you have to practice and you have to start somewhere. So if you want to ease the pressure off, yes, you can do friendly challenge, but just farm with it. You're going to come up against all kinds of crazy bases. And as long as you hit massive loot like this, then you're still gaining, and that's the idea of farming. Now, it's only right that it goes from the Tesla to the Inferno, but where do they go next? The Giga Eagle? The Giga Eagle Artillery. That does sound strong, but I don't know, maybe a bit too strong. But this is the power of this attack when you get everything into the center. You might have noticed a clear difference between these two attacks. Stadra in the previous one didn't quite get the funnel beautifully created and they did get drawn around the outside of the base. Whereas everything went into the middle for Itsu and it is a three star attack. Royal champion, a balloon and five healers. So we do indeed hit a Sam. Let's send another balloon in just in case. Just in case. So the Royal Champion, doing a good job already. You get a wizard in once the cannon takes uh, this down. Ooh, did lose a healer in fact. Let's rage and freeze. Now let's, let's just spam the wall breakers in. Grand Warden's ability. Come on boys, let's rage. Let's freeze this area. Look at them go. They're still going. Oh, they got all of the way through. They did it. They did it! <laughs> uh, we can try and use the Ice Golem on the outside here. Doing okay. Royal Champ's ability. Royal Champ is down there beasting the Town Hall. Look at that. It's not looking too bad. We could run out of time here. Let's get our cleanup into the top area. Uh, we can use the Ice Golem down to the bottom. Our Queen is down there as well, wiping things out. Let's, fingers crossed, we can get this one done. I am happy with the plan, guys. So... What we will do is start off by using a baby dragon cross to the left hand side that will initially tank for the archer tower so that the balloons can get in we actually get a couple of black bombs there as well so that is really really nice then down to the six o'clock area we can start the queen king across to that right hand side super wall breaker coming in gets the area open pretty good so let's actually go with a wizard to help out in order to drive the king up because he's not getting very good value now the funnel's created my queen is going to get in here so that's pretty good so until the queen king and royal champion are down the headhunter will go across the map towards them so if you can sneak it in alongside the queen charges you might be able to save yourself a spell. But what happens if you see a base with gaps around the town hall? What this is, is the defender getting wise to the sneaky goblins and putting small bombs there in order to take out the sneaky goblins before they get the town hall. 
you can counteract this with barbarians inside your clan castle in a mixture. Ah, the Queen Walk. What is it? When should you use it? What level does your Queen need to be? All of the basics right of the way through to the advanced tactics. This video will be your one-stop shop for learning and perfecting the Queen Walk or Queen Charge techniques.